Hi, this is a probability question that we're going to solve using a tree diagram, but let's just read the question first. Jenny has a bag with seven blue sweets and three red sweets in it. She picks a sweet at random from the bag, replaces it, and then picks again at random. Draw a tree diagram to represent this situation and use it to calculate the probabilities that she picks. A, two red sweets, B, no red sweets, C, at least one blue sweet, D, one sweet of each colour. Well, let's start off by drawing our tree diagram. We'll look at the first pick first. There are two possibilities that she has, so we do draw a sort of double branch like that. Uh, one represents her picking a blue sweet, the other one a red sweet. I'm using B and R to mean blue and red. Now, what about the probabilities of that? Well, because there are ten in all and seven of them are blue, probability of a blue is seven tenths. And in the same reasoning, probability of red is three tenths. Now, what about the second pick? Well, she has replaced whatever she picked first time, so we've got exactly the same situation in the bag as we started with. So, she picks a blue first, then she's still got the same probabilities of picking, picking a blue or a red second time. And if she picks a red first, it's exactly the same again. So those are the uh, probabilities for her tree diagram. We've just got two more columns to do. First of all, the outcome, and secondly, the probability calculations. Well, the outcome of this first branch is blue and then blue, so I've labelled it BB. And the probability is 7 tenths times 7 tenths uh, because it's blue and blue. And if you remember, when you're anding two things, uh, you multiply them together. That gives us 49 over 100. The next branch is first blue, then red, BR for short. Uh, 7 tenths times 3 tenths, 2100. This branch here is first red, then blue, RB, 3 tenths times 7 tenths, 2100. 21 hundredths. And the fourth one is two reds. First red, second red. Three tenths times three tenths, nine hundredths. Now, it's always a good idea to do a check here because all of these four probabilities uh, add up to one because they're the only four possibilities in the situation. And they do add up to 100 over 100, which is one. So we've done our check. Now let's look back at the question. We need to work out the probability that she picks two red sweets. Well, we've actually done that one. It's this number here, nine hundredths. There we are. The answer to that first part. Second part, no red sweets. Well, the only thing which has no red sweets in it is the blue-blue combination. And we've already calculated that. That's 49 hundredths. And so is that. Now we get a bit more complicated. Uh, we need to uh, find at least one blue. So this has got a blue, this has got a blue, this has got a blue. There are three possibilities. And we get these by adding, because it's this, or this, or this. And if you remember or, in probability means add them together. So when we add those three together, we'll get our answer. It's blue-red, red-blue, or blue-blue. Adding them together, we get that, which totals to 91 over 100. So that's our answer, but there is another slightly quicker way of doing it. Let's do that as well. Now, uh, the only one which doesn't have a blue in it is this one. And Seeing as we've got all our possibilities adding up to 1, if we take this possibility away from 1, uh, then everything else must have uh, a blue in it, at least one blue. So our working is going to be 1 minus the possibility of two reds, which is 1 minus 9 hundredths, which is 91 hundredths. Same answer, no surprise it's the same answer, but it's just a different way of getting to it. Now what about the last one? One sweet of each colour. Well, that's just the two middle branches. First blue, then red, or first red, then blue. So it's this or this. So we add those two probabilities together. 
blue red plus red blue 21 hundredths plus 21 hundredths 42 hundredths uh, which we may choose to simplify to 21 fiftieths just finishing off let's look at our tree diagram again remember that as you go along a branch you're doing one thing and another thing so you multiply the probabilities each branch has multiplied probabilities but when you're doing uh, answering questions at the end you might have to add these because you're doing this or this this or this etc etc so remember multiply along the branches but add the results of those multiplications uh, to get your answers.